Oh, hey, everybody. Well, oh, drinking. Sorry. Magic hat number nine. Good beer. Uh, sorry. Another internet video for you on 6th edition Tyranids. Uh, this time I'm going to be focusing on our requested subject, Biomorphs. Probably the biggest change in the 6th edition Tyranid book codex is Biomorphs. Totally different from anything that they've been before. So let's run them down quickly. Give my memory a test. Um, da -da -da -da. Adrenal glands is definitely ones I've been studying. That gives you the unit um, Fleet and Furious Charge. Which is interesting because the knots get that leaping bound is now plus three to their roll, I believe, which allows them then to have fleet and um, good stuff there if you want a fast moving army. Uh, then there's acid blood, which I've mentioned in a number of under videos. Every unsaved wound causes a strength five AP two hit at the initiative that the wound takes place. Don't screw that up. You could kill some of those uber independent characters just before they even get all their attacks off. Or they kill themselves, which is even better. Um, acid Maw, which is basically acid blood, except that it's acid mouth. In fact, that's what acid maw is, acid mouth. So basically the, the unit can trade in all of their melee attacks to make one acid mouth attack at strength 5 AP2. Blinding Venom on Gargoyles, uh, it's, uh, it's not ranged, it's not ranged, it's melee. It allows you to trade in all of their melee attacks to get one Blinding Venom attack, which I believe blinds and poison 6+, plus, uh, which is good, because also remember that it's still a melee attack, so if the strength of the unit is equal to the toughness of the person it's attacking it gets to reroll the wound uh it's a six plus poison but still i believe you get to reroll it if the strength is the same gives you two chances at the sixes uh what else regeneration always an old favorite four plus to heal a wound from the previous turn not the turn that you're regenerating don't abuse it um what else toxic miasma this is a weird one it's only on venom thropes as far as i know basically a melee attack that every model in ba that only you first only used once per game not per round not per turn not for whatever once per game and i also believe once per unit I don't think it pops off for each individual model in the unit. I think it just pops off once for the whole unit. And I see it as an assaulting attack. You charge in. It's going to give you poison. And I believe the Venom Thropes, that's at 2+. plus. Um, what else? Oh, it ignores cover, which is why I think it's an assault attack. Uh, strength 3, AP nothing. Um... And it goes off an initiative one. But the interesting thing about it is that if you have a unit, uh, three Venom Thropes in a unit, and you get, uh, it hits everyone that it has a model in base-to-base -base contact with a Venom Throat. So if you manage to get two or three Venom Thropes on one unit and pop a Toxic Miasma, you're going to get three hits on them, I guess, in theory. Let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Flesh hooks. And their cousin's uh, spine banks. Basically, what? They're pretty much the same as before. It, it get, you can use them to charge through um, terrain. You can assault through terrain without any, without any disadvantages. Uh, or you can just use them as a firing attack. I think the main difference between the flesh hooks and the spines is that uh, spines are eight inches and they have like a, an, an AP. Uh, toxin sacks, also another one of my favorites. Yeah, before it was just a plus one strength. Now it makes attacks poison. 
which is good because even on knots that makes them all strength three poison so anytime they're hitting somebody else with strength three they're re-rolling wounds and if they're hitting somebody greater then it's a four plus good stuff very good stuff uh especially the re-rolling on the wounds mm -hmm. the next ones that we would work with then is the prehensile tail biomorphs I was also thinking about the thorax biomorphs but I might do a whole video on that one because they're so specialized and so few units take them but the prehensile tail biomorphs are good because first it's a separate attack it's 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 resolved completely separately from other any other attacks no special rules are applied to tail attacks now that sounds bad for you until you also realize no special rules from your opponents apply to tail attacks either that can be very helpful um i believe the the basic one if i call it basic is is bone mace strength eight no ap okay that's a lot of instant kill going on there for anything at toughness four and who in the game is toughness four uh what else pincer strength six ap5 okay i'll go with that um i think it's just because it came standard on a lot of the out of print figures that they have now and that that little pincer bug thing on it they need to give it a special rules uh scythe also a good one i like that one better strength four ap4 but it has rending we roll those wounds again of course that's pretty much the same that i noticed uh an upgrade of that would be toxic spike which is a two plus poison ap6 i would take that over rending i do take that over rending uh for the scythe but it, these are all very nice so so the key thing to remember is you're probably going to getting special abilities and your opponent doesn't get them anymore I like them um they're a little tricky to use like I said you gotta you gotta work your tac your tactics around it but I almost always use the toxic toxic spike on everything and uh the bone mace when not simply because that's that would be good at hitting vehicles anyways I hope you like the video if you do please watch more please like uh subscribe do whatever you like the standard blah 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 that you put in the video everybody puts in the videos at the end and i'll see you next time thank you